In this video, we explore the use of basic string manipulation. So string manipulation is the act of manipulating, extracting or changing the characters in a string variable. Let's have a look at a few real applications of where you might use this. So in our first example, let's consider an online form. So you can see here we've got a first name field and a last name field. And the user is, of course, able to type in their name in any format they like. They may just accidentally be slipping on a shift key or a caps lock. Here I've exaggerated the situation, but you can see the name Craig Sargent has been entered with a mixture of lower and uppercase characters. We may require internally that the first letter of each name is capital and the rest are then lowercase, regardless of how it's been typed in. So we would need to perform some string manipulation on the contents that have come in. We would need to extract the first letter from the entered strings and convert it to uppercase. We need to extract all the remaining letters from the strings, convert them to lowercase, and then join or concatenate the two parts back together again. In this example, we're looking at a typical search engine and considering something called text parsing. You might be used to being able to type in phrases such as six centimetres in inches, and then the result appearing on the screen. Well, six centimetre in inches would be a string, and the search engine would then have to parse this string and manipulate it to provide a sensible output. It would have to be able to extract the number six from the string, extract the character centimetres, extract the character inches, and then run some algorithm to understand what needs to be done. Consider the situation of a train ticket. In this example, train station names have to be abbreviated to a set number of characters so they can fit on a printed ticket. With long train station names, for example, London Paddington, the string would need to be manipulated, so we end up with London P-A-D-D-I-N-G-T-N. And again, this would be an example of string manipulation. So in the exam, AQA are either going to present you with code in a high level language, or they're going to present it to you in their version of pseudocode. If they present you in pseudocode, we have a couple of examples of how they would do that here. From their specification, they state that string functions are subroutines built into the programming language in order to manipulate the string data type. They will write out the string manipulation command in capital letters like length, and also subroutines then take parameters in brackets. So here we see variable. So what we're saying here is if variable was hello, then that would get passed into the string manipulation length subroutine and it would return the value 5, which would then be assigned to a variable. There's a list of string manipulation commands that AQA require you to know for the exam and they are shown here. Now obviously you have to be comfortable with how the string manipulation commands listed in the bulleted list on the previous screen are actually coded and implemented in your high level language. Your exam paper will either be in Python, Visual Basic or C Sharp, as these are the three programming languages currently supported by AQA for the GCSE exams. Here, just as an example then, are various of the commands you need to know about in Python syntax. You can see on the whole they're very similar, but there are subtle differences in syntax. One specific thing to note here is how we get substrings in Python. So in Python, this is actually known as slicing. There's not a command called substring, but it performs the same action and it will be suitable for you to use this syntax in the exam if you're extracting part of a string. Thank you.